Hey everyone, welcome to this Windows channel and uh, we are continuing the series on backups and today we're going to show you how you can easily backup on Windows 10 using file history. File history is an integrated backup system in Windows 10 and basically it's very easy to use. What you will need, a good sized USB thumb drive, or even better, a external hard drive that you plug in through your USB ports. So what happens with that is once it's plugged, the computer will know that there's a hard drive. So for example, right now I've plugged in one of my external one terabyte hard drives. How do you back up? It's very, very easy. Simply go to your settings panel, go to update and security, and there's a backup on the left side panel. Click there and you will see backup using file history. So if you haven't ever used it before, you'll have to turn the switch to on, first of all. And if you want to manage the options of the backup, go to more options. Here you will be uh, seeing your hard drive that's been selected to backup. You will be seeing the backup file, how frequent the backups of the files will be done, and how long you want to keep backups. Because think of the name, it's called file history. That means that you can keep versions of your files that are older than the one you're actually working on. And to demonstrate that, I actually created a little Word file that I've updated and to show you that it actually has the two copies, the original and the ones that I actually added a little bit of text on it. So what, the, what frequency should, first of all, you choose in backup of the files? Well, that depends on how and what you do on your PC. If you're a writer, if you're somebody working on documents of all sorts, if you're working on your PC with all sorts of files, of course, every hour is a really good option because every time that you made modifications, everything you did in the last hour is saved on your PC. But it doesn't replace, and that's the thing you got to understand, it doesn't replace the other copy. So if you were working on a Word document, you saved it it had a copy that it backed up. Now, you're working on a, the same work document and you save it half an hour later, well, when the backup will be done in the next hour, it will contain that new copy. So if you're working on your PC, that is a great option because it actually backs up copies of your files regularly, meaning whatever happens, you aren't losing more than about an hour's worth of work which is great. But for a lot of people, that is not necessary. And people that just, you know, go on the internet, have pictures that they download here and there, or, you know, they backed up maybe their, their, their camera, their phone, and so they only add files from time to time, every hour is a little too much. What you could do is choose something that is a little farther down the list. For example, every day. You can choose daily. That means now once a day it's going to back up. Now the thing is, for this to work, your hard drive needs to be plugged in. So on the desktop this is really cool because you just leave the hard drive plugged in and backups are done regularly. On a laptop it's not as convenient. So what I would say is you can unplug the hard drive from time to time you know, when you want to use your laptop. But remember to plug it back in sometimes because it's not always easy. Another way that you might want to use file history here is if you have a network attached storage or a NAS. That also can be used here and this is even better for laptop users because it's already available through the network. But for that to work it needs to show up as a drive on your file explorer. So, depending on how much work you do, you choose a default. So the default is one hour. 
Second option, keep my backups for, okay. I told you every time it saves files, it does not replace them. It makes a new copy of them. So just to show you an idea, I'm gonna show you a Word document that I worked on. So here is my file history backup. And don't worry, if you're wondering how to get things back, I will be, uh, of course, showing you how to do that. Now let's look at the desktop. And go down and look at this. This is version one of the Word document. Gives me date and time, 1909.41. This is UTC. And look at that, there's another one here that is 1910.42c, a minute later. So these are two versions. The first version, that you can see on the right side on miniature, and the second version, which has a little more text in it. So if you were working, say, on a book, well, you got different versions of your book all the time. So you can actually pick out any version of a file. And it's cool because sometimes it's really nice to go back to an older version of something if it doesn't work well. So once you've chosen the time, you have to choose how long you want to keep the files on your hard drive. And the reason why you got to be careful with this one is depending on the size of your drive. So here, total space on backup USB, 931 gigabytes, so one terabyte drive. My last backup, full backup, is 138 gigabyte size. Remember that as you will, of course, be working with files and backing up files, this will increase in size. So if you don't have a super big hard drive, keeping too long of files might be a problem. In my case, a one terabyte drive, one month is perfect. It, it, it just is correct. And if I work a lot with a computer, it may, might go to two or 300 gigabytes, but not really much more. So it, it fits within my hard drive all the time. I have no issues with that. And of course, you can always change that anytime you want. So you can choose one month, three months, six months, or years, or even forever. What you can also do is choose until space is needed. That means it will detect that your hard drive is getting really, really low on space. And if there's not a lot of disk space, then, of course, it will... Uh, you know, start erasing the oldest files of all. So that's how it works. Of course, after that, you have the backup folders. You have default folders that are kept for you that you can save. But you can also add a folder by clicking the plus sign and going in File Explorer and choosing which folder maybe is not backed up right now and adding it to the folders by clicking uh, you know, if you click a, a folder, you just click choose this folder and it adds it to the list. If some of them are unnecessary, what you can do is click on that and click remove. For example, nbems.files, I don't need that. I can click remove and not have that backed up all the time. So you can go into your different places that you know is unnecessary and remove the ones that you know, it's that, that, that you know is unnecessary to keep. You can also click folders that you want to exclude. So within, for example, a folder, say you're in documents, you might have one subfolder you don't want to exclude that you don't want to have a backup from. And you can add that folder here. And of course, you can back up to a different drive. Then what you do is click stop using drive and plug in a new one and start a new backup. So that's how it works. Once that is done, it will do it automatically at some point. Or you can force it, that's what I did, by clicking backup now. And it's going to take a certain time. Now remember, for example here, 138 gigabytes took me about an hour and a half, I would say, on this computer. And uh, after an hour and a half, it was backed up. Depending on how many files you've got, this backup will be more or less bigger. So that's one thing you need to know. And um, also, there are two things that are saved in here. Not just the files, but a lot of your configuration on your PC. So that means if you have special configurations 
for a specific software, well, actually, you have the possibility of you know just retrieving all of those files and having your settings come back also. So this is a great option for automatic backup. And one last little thing that I would say with this automatic backup of file history, which is, by the way, fantastic way of backing up your PC. Some hardware or some software might sometimes prevent it from working. So if it ever stops working, first things you should think about is what new piece of software did I add? For example, I noticed that some people that have uh, Piriform CCleaner uh, tend to say, well, my file history stops working from time to time. I know there's some kind of interference between those software. So just be careful with what you install. If it ever stops, uh, check it out. And finally, that nice little backup now button means you can also use this and just do a manual one. So every once in a while, you remember, oh, I'm going to backup my stuff. You plug your hard drive, you click backup now, and you let it do what it needs to do. It's going to tell you backing up your data. And it is less, um, it takes less time afterwards. Why? It's very simple. Remember that a backup with this is incremental, meaning it doesn't back up everything all the time. It backs up only things that have changed. So if you have added, I don't know, 20 new files or modified 20 files, it will just copy these on the hard drive, not everything else, because it's not needed to do so. So it's what we call an incremental backup. It's only the things that have changed that are backed up again. So the first backup is always the, the, the one that takes the longest time to do. After that, most of the time, it doesn't take very long uh, to uh, operate. So that's how to back up using file history. Of course, look at my video. I'm going to post one about how to retrieve from your backup in two ways, using, once again, the file history options. But also, I'll show you how you can actually go and get a file in your file history manually uh, if you do need to do so. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Hope you will enjoy this little series on backups. Remember, backups are very important. And remember, never erase the files that you've backed up. They need to be at least on two places at the same time to be a true backup. Hope you enjoy my videos. Thank you for watching.